Hi, it's Amethyst Mahoney of Spiritual Badass with your tarot and energy forecast for the week. So this week I'm using the Steampunk Tarot by Barbara Moore and I have already drawn your three cards for the week. The first one we have is the Four of Swords. This is a card of rest and recuperation. There's been a lot of fiery wands energy going on the past couple of weeks and even though at the end of last week we talked about kind of changing direction and slowing things down, with Mother's Day and some other energies that came up this past weekend, you're probably feeling a little bit tired, a little bit worn out, and like you need to slow down and really regain your energy and regroup. So this is a really good time to just kind of reassess things and reassess where you are and incorporate the lessons that you've learned from this past weekend uh, and decide what you want to carry forward. Next we have the Six of Swords and often this is a card about traveling but this week after you've taken that time with the Four of Swords to rest and reassess what you really want in your life the Six of Swords is allowing you that space to actually cleave old ties and decide who you want to take with you moving forward. So don't be surprised if one or two old kind of lingering, lagging friendships that you've been waffling about suddenly come up and the people uh, just kind of quietly slip away or there's a misunderstanding and giving you an opportunity to let that friendship kind of slip away so that that energy is not around you, draining you and dragging you down anymore. These are probably people who are very victim mentality and there's a lot of stuff going on that you just don't need to have them around anymore. You might be tempted to jump in and apologize or try to somehow save that relationship, but really be honest with yourself with the Six of Swords and decide if that's something that you've been thinking about letting go for some time, this is a really great opportunity to let those things go and then decide how to set your boundaries moving forward for the things that you actually do want. This is really important in your business too this week to go ahead and set up some new guidelines and some new boundaries around uh, clients contacting you or how people can reach you. There may be, have been a lot of things happening the last few weeks with all the fiery energy of people trying to message you all the time and ask you a lot of questions or try to get a lot from you and some of your actual clients may have kind of slipped through the crap because you don't have really clear guidelines on how they can contact you. So there's probably been a lot of confusion around that in your business because you didn't want to seem too harsh, but this is a great time to set up those boundaries and those guidelines in your business so that people can contact you and get the information that they need from you and you can also get the information that they need to them without draining yourself or overworking yourself you are not on their agenda and the past couple of weeks may have felt like you were kind of jumping through all these fires and jumping through all these hoops trying to help people when the truth is a lot of them have been trying to take advantage of you this is a really really great time to reassess that reassess your friendships and let those things go that are actually draining you and not serving you and so a couple of situations might come up this week that give you the opportunity to do that. So make sure that you don't jump in and try to save it. Um, just let it go. And it, a couple of relationships may quietly fall away this week and it's going to actually release you and help you move forward. And finally we have the world. And the world is saying that if you do let those negative energies go with those people who are really holding you back and draining you down after you've assessed what you really want. This is a really great time for things to be looking up in your life. The world is in your hands. You can really create the life that you want to. You have all of the opportunity right there in front of you and this week all of that is coming to you. So that is your forecast for the week. Take advantage. This is a really amazing week with lots of opportunity for you to move forward. And if you want more tarot forecasts, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here below. And I'll be back next week with another tarot forecast for you.